Aloha. Aloha. Kayla and Carla here. Welcome back to Pleasing Nature Works, where we have fun with art. If you're new here, thanks for giving us a chance. And if you've come back for more, thanks. We love having you here. Today we're going to be doing a spinner wheel character creation challenge by the Ant Artist. Sorry if I said that wrong. We found this one while scrolling through Pinterest. And it looked super detailed and super awesome. Instead of showing the rules ahead of time, we're going to go down the list and reveal the elements of our characters with each spin. Alright, I'm going first, so let's see what gender my character will be. Alright, uh, you gotta do a, a male. Yeah, I gotta do a male. <laughs> let's see what their age range is going to be. Ah, okay. okay. Ancient. Yeah, you're gonna have an elder. I only laugh because, uh, we she you've never done that before. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. The last guy I tried to draw was for your blind date, and That's he true. turned out like a teenager, and I was trying to make him look older. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a challenge for you. Then, all right. Let's see how long their hair is gonna be. Long. Okay. Long. Some long okay. flowing locks okay. on this elder. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what their hair color is going to be. This could be really weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ginger. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Definitely some long flowing locks. <laughs> I just made a brave reference. <laughs> All right, let's see what the eye color is going to be. Oh, it's got to be green. It's got to be. Come on. <laughs> It'll be perfect. Not quite. Okay. <laughs> Almost matches the hair color. Yeah, it's like a copper brown. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty. Yeah. All right. Let's see the the body type now. This could be weird too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. All right. Moving on to the era. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, so I'm I'm immediately going like leather jacket happening here. <laughs> well, I have to see the extra. Yeah, level, you're gonna though. have to you're gonna have to do a little bit of research for the fifties. Oh yeah, so you're historically accurate as much as possible. Let's move on to the skin color. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Now let's see how extra your character is going to be. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Average. Average. That works. Yeah. And last but not least, the color palette for their clothes. Oh, okay. okay. All right. You know, you I got the green with yeah, the that, red. That's nice. That mid tone. I've actually seen that middle green swatch though on like uh, fifties clothing, like a uh, bowling shirts and stuff. Hmm. That could be kind of cool. Yeah. I can't wait to see where this goes. Okay, let's begin. Solid star. 
You definitely have a way that you like to start your characters. <laughs> it's a way that I'm comfortable. Looking at the blank canvas is very daunting for me. <laughs> I know. I look a little bit like a turtle right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, nice. Going right in with the detail on the clothes. I like it. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I wasn't forget anything. The last one, I nearly forgot very important things. Ah, uh, makes sense. I forgot you do that trick for the eyes. Yeah, it's, it's helped a little bit trying to make them a little bit more symmetrical. Obviously, makes, yeah. people aren't completely symmetrical, but it helps make them just a tad bit less strange when I yeah. do them. I already get a like a little bit of a grumpy vibe off of him. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make him I'm not trying to make him grumpy. It's just ancient. That's I was trying true. to make sure that came across and oh, wasn't you, just old. You know what? I think you channeled Ugwe from Kung Fu Panda. You know? Yeah. I'm feeling I'm getting a little bit of those vibes here. <laughs> and it's not just because his body shape looks a little turtly. <laughs> You got some nice detail to start off. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to make sure it looks old. It looks... He looks ancient. Yeah. How old do you reckon that he is? <sighs> Your best guess. I don't know. I mean, because I, I got red hair, so, I mean, he could be dying it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> 90? 90? That's not ancient. No, it's not ancient, about? but I'm trying to, like, uh, <laughs> here we go. Let's go out of the range of possibility. He's 3,000 years old. That's what I was asking. Okay. For. okay. <laughs> I was, like, in the range of, like, possibilities here. 90 is so not ancient still. No, so. I mean, it's elderly, but it's yeah. not ancient. No. So let's just go with he's 3,000 years old or something like okay. that. Okay, all right. I like the way you did the wrinkles so far. It looks good. Thanks. He definitely looks unamused. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's you know, been alive a long time. He's seen a lot of stuff. Yeah. Very few things really face him anymore. <laughs> yeah. Lots of detail work with these wrinkles. It's awesome. Yeah, I was trying. I'm trying to make them pretty defined, so yeah. no one goes like, "That's not ancient." It sort of seems like you upped your game on the, on that this time around. Yeah, well, uh, I'm judging by my last ones, I'm pretty good at making smooth-looking teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds really weird, but your blind date ended up looking kind yeah, of like yeah, a teenager. I know, I know. <laughs> that one's going to be in your brain for a long time. Yeah. These highlights, I mean, you, you did a really good job about making him look, look more alive this time. Thanks. I was definitely taking into consideration what you said about, you know, not trying to smooth everything. Yeah, it's a struggle. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'll, like, do something and I'm like, that's just too strong. Yeah. I'll zoom out and go, okay, this definitely needs smoothing. But this one I had to make myself go, no. It's got to stay. It's a wrinkle. You can't smooth it out. It doesn't work. It won't look like a wrinkle. At 3,000 years old, there's only so much you can do as far as beauty products. <laughs> 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 or maybe, you know, he's just gotten to a point where he just doesn't really care anymore, you know? <clears throat> yeah. He, he's, he has willingly accepted his wrinkles as... A part of who he is. Yeah, he's become the wise person. He's a good. 
Finding a hair that was long, long flowing, <laughs> yeah, yeah, was not possible because it, it wasn't period. done. What did you? Ha- you had the fifties and sixties, right? Yeah, and I ended up going like on the outskirts of sixties mm-hmm. in order to get a hairstyle that was longer. Because mm-hmm. in the fifties, it was a lot of like the Elvis. Yeah. Comb yeah. forward and stuff. And that was what was considered long. Mm-hmm. And that just didn't work. <laughs> that would have worked well for, like, if you had medium length. Oh, yeah. But it was supposed to be long. Yeah. Nice bunching detail on that shirt. Thanks. I can I can just imagine this. He has like a little bit of a hunchback here. Yeah. Which I mean, <laughs> rightfully so at three thousand years old. It's to be expected, I think. I would unless think you so. were like a vampire with the self healing thing going yeah, on. Yeah, that's true. I see you incorporated a few different kinds of brushes this time for those hair textures. Yeah, I keep forgetting which one I'm using, so I end up going through each time and being like, this one. What does this one do? No, this one. (laughs) (laughs) Those um, pinkish, maroony eyes uh, really give them almost a menacing appearance. Yeah. Uh, you know, when when I picked it out, it, it looked like a brown, but then when you ink dropped it, it right? looks like a, yeah. uh, like a, I don't know, dusky rose? It, yeah, like, yeah, definitely. A little bit? And I, I like, was like, uh, okay, I have to add some sort of highlight to this. This just doesn't look real. <laughs> <laughs> it made him, made him look really menacing. Well, I like how you incorporated some of the orange into the eyes. Thanks. And I can see that you definitely made the clothes a priority this time. Yeah, I was trying to make the typical slacks right there. Mm-hmm. It's a... Uh, and they all have this, like, line. The pleat. Yeah, the pleat. Yes. And I was like, I gotta get that, because otherwise it's just gonna look like they're jeans. It looks good. And let me tell you, finding guy clothes for 50s, it's kind of hard, unless you want to go out of the box of what people would wear. And I was trying to to definitely stay in the box. Yeah, you were trying to be a little bit more historically accurate. (laughs) Yeah, so I was like, wow, they didn't have much options. (laughs) They definitely had a specific style, at least in America. Yeah. Um, so is he an amputee? No. I just didn't do the arms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you could have leaned into that and said he was an amputee. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that to okay. the poor guy. All right. I just, you know, didn't do him. <laughs> yeah. All right. I was going to give him a cane, and you could see that in the beginning. And yeah, then I, I was like, this is too hard. <laughs> Oh, I love the sunspot details you put on him. That yeah, really, I thought it, it made him look older. It does. Instantly. Gives it a little bit more texture to the skin that was still smooth. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, at some time I, I will find an eyelash that I like <laughs> yeah. and actually give people the eyelashes. Last couple like challenges you've been like, oh, oh I oh. haven't added the <laughs> eyelashes. I add them and then I'm like, these don't look right. Eyelashes can be difficult for sure, especially when you're working on time constraint. Yeah. Nice. So he definitely looks 
elderly for sure. Yeah, I don't know if I added enough wrinkles to be considered ancient. No, but no, it's I working mean, on it. Well, hey, everybody ages differently, you know. True, and, and if for... he's three thousand years old, he's looking really good. He he looks excellent. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm impressed. He did a good job. Thanks. All right, sis, it's your turn. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what the gender of my character will be. All right, I'm making okay. a female. All right, let's see the age. Oh, dear. <laughs> <gasps> okay, that's a new for me. Gonna have a teenager. Well, at least you have to do a new too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we're doing this challenge. There's just so much stuff that I've never even considered. Yeah. All right. Let's see the hair length. All righty. Medium. Cool. And hair color. <laughs> this is when stuff starts to get really interesting. <laughs> or not. Yeah. Well, okay, you have got like a charcoal black color. Yeah, you All almost right. had purple. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Okay, let's see the eye color. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. This is going to be a striking looking character. Nice. All right. Body type. Yes. All righty. Okay. Average. Yeah. Moving on to the time period. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Ooh, cool. Georgian! I'm definitely gonna have to do research on that one. Oh yeah. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> gonna move on to the skin color now. Okay. All right. Extra level. <laughs> All right. Okay. Average. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, the color palette of my character's clothing. Very interesting clothing. <laughs> Oh, okay. Right. That works really super well. Yeah, more earthy, darker yeah, tones. Yeah, I can totally see that being like natural dyed colors. Yeah, yeah, that would that would work. I lucked out. <laughs> Still going to be a really big challenge, though. I'm yeah, that clothing. About the clothes. <laughs> the clothing. All right, let's jump into this. I can't wait to see how you do this. <laughs> it was definitely interesting. I was... Okay. I already see that you're going for a very cool pose here. Yeah, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. And with looking at all the Georgian references and, you know, old paintings and stuff, I saw a lot of side angles. So that's what I wanted yeah. to try and emulate. Yeah. And um, this takes place in an alternate universe where there's no racism and mm -hmm. no nastiness. Yeah. That's just the only way to do that. Yeah. So, I found out when I was trying to figure out what my character was going to wear yeah. that the Georgian era 
era is like a umbrella, like a larger umbrella time period, and the Regency era is within that time period. So oh. things like, you know, Pride and Prejudice and yeah. things like that, those kind of like took place sometime around the Regency era. So that helped me out in trying to figure out, you know, the kind of the vibe that I was going to go for this character. Oh yeah, definitely. That would definitely help. For sure. And <laughs> I struggled so much with this character because I am not used to going outside of my comfort zone <laughs> at all. And I have not done uh, a lot of different ethnicities. <laughs> and with the skin tone that I got, I was like, this has to be a different ethnicity. You should try this making them in Sims. Yeah, I I found references, and that's the way I wanted to do it this time around. But um, yeah. given the time period, I I knew that like one of the standards of beauty was, you know, avoiding sunlight, which is why like this this person is definitely of, a, of another ethnicity, though again in an alternate universe. Yeah, I I think it's funny the juxtaposition on how we do things. <laughs> <laughs> That's what part of part of the fun though, right? Yeah, it's seeing your way of doing things is different than mine and it I can learn from it. And on here though, uh, since you know, um used to doing gouache more, I'm still learning how to do this myself. Oh you know? yeah. cute i like her hair no i'm <laughs> serious i like how you're doing her hair thank you i watched a lot of uh videos to kind of brush up on how to do things before trying to tackle this challenge since it was like i said out of my comfort zone <laughs> right the startling eyes exactly again another reason for this being in an alternate universe Oh, yeah. I struggled so much with this hand. It does not stay. It does not stay there, <laughs> I tell you. I was like, that does not look like a normal hand, and I do not have enough time to devote to make this look correct. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't give mine arms, so it's all good. <laughs> I tried so hard, and but then I was like, no, no. I want to focus more on the clothing and on her mm -hmm. face and hair this time around. So, And then I had to remember that she was of an average build, too. So I adjusted to that one. I'm definitely liking the shocking eye color. <laughs> Thanks. It was what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I, liked how you, I like how you did it. You did a dark ring. Yeah. It, it made it look really cool. Thank you. I was trying to kind of go between realism and, you know, the mystical material that I ended up <laughs> working with. Yeah. It also is just kind of funny because I ended up working really well with the color scheme that I got for the clothing. Kind of like how you with yours, you, you know, added that, like, orange from the hair into the eyes. Yeah, I, ha I had to add a different color. It just wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> I struggled so much with these lips. Yeah. I didn't want them to look like kissy lips, but I wanted them to be nice, full, and beautiful. Mm-hmm. I found when I was doing mine that I'm so used to doing women's lips. I was <laughs> like, oh dear. <laughs> no, I really wanted to do her justice, so <laughs> I focused mainly on the face. Yeah. And unlike yours, since she's a teen, I had to, like, bounce between having nice, you know, supple skin and mm -hmm. um, capturing detail, which was a bit of a dance, for sure. 
Yeah, I'm more used to blending. You're more used to detail. So this time you had to do a lot of blending. <laughs> well, I like the effect that blending does. It, yeah. To the skin, you know, it adds some realism, but it was it was a bit tricky to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. And then here at Leah, <laughs> I'm like, oh, nope, the arm's got to go down, like I said. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, gotta fix this. There we go. Oh, the okay. Hands. All right. <laughs> so you didn't really cut it off. You just, you yeah, know, moved it still, out of frame. It's still there. I just kept my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gave... I was just like, nope, I'm not doing gave, that. You gave, you know, your 3,000-year-old man the Darth Vader treatment. <laughs> no, because you still got him. I just didn't draw him. Okay. <laughs> I went back and forth a lot with this one, adding in lights and darks, just to try and make, you know, her come more alive. I would go back and be like, mm, that's not enough, gotta add more. Yeah. Oh, that made it look better. I always forget to add those. The highlights? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The highlights and the eyes, and it makes such a big difference. It does. Because it's like, you know, that's the sunlight or whatever light source reflecting off the eye. Yeah, it makes it look more real. Okay, I like these wispy hairs. Thank you. <laughs> nice. I'm going to put brushies for that. Cool. I sort of happened upon that brush by accident. It was a very happy accident. <laughs> oh, it'd be funny if it was the same brush I'd been using. <laughs> It could very well be. <laughs> we'll have to. And we say this every time, but we really do need to compare our brushes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks. Nice. Had to get your other colors in there. Yeah. Nice. I didn't, I didn't want the dress to be too... Crazy. Too, you know, detailed and crazy. Because her extra level was, you know, not super extra. Yeah. And again, I was trying to be, you know, more historically accurate. As much as I could be. Yeah, so even if she did get extra, it's not like she'd have bling. <laughs> well, she could have had something, but... Yeah, yeah. but I, I meant, like, bedazzled. Bling. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not like earrings and necklaces. I but meant no, bedazzled. This is not Bridgerton. <laughs> This nose was so hard for me. <laughs> I think it was at a good spot, and then I'd be like, no, that looks wrong. What's wrong with it? <laughs> I will say that it's... There are parts of this one that I like, and there are parts of this one that I don't like so much. <laughs> I think that <laughs> happens with every one of them, though, that we've done so far. It's That's like, true. if we could go back... I mean, we're learning, so if we could go back, we'd definitely do things different now. Yeah, for sure. But she's so, like, I don't even know. She looks like she should be in a ballroom. That's good. That's so good. I, I think you did a really good job. Thank you. That's my uh, Georgian era character. Nice. I like the highlights. You did really good. Thank you. Well, we both uh, succeeded. Yeah. <laughs> we both yeah. made characters. It was touch and go there for a little while. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, Definitely different with having actual color palettes to go off of. It was fun. Yeah. We could definitely do this one again. Well, there's so many options you can get. I definitely do this one again. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let us know by leaving a comment, clicking that like button. Or joining our community by subscribing. See you guys in the next video. Bye!